Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Freddy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we will be making my famous seafood rice. Yes, I am making a big party size portion because when I make this, everybody I know literally comes to eat. So I have to make a lot when I make it, but I am also going to have a smaller portion recipe in the description box below. Okay guys? all right let's get this thing started so i got my bell peppers i got the red and the green and one whole onion i used half of each bell pepper then i'm gonna go ahead and add about one fourth cup of oil into a hot pan and i'm gonna add a half cup of a piece i will have the link on how to make a piece in the description box below alrighty then I'm also now going to start adding my veggies I'm adding one bag of peas and carrots and I'm going to add one bag of corn you can just add the um, vegetables that already come together that's fine as well now I'm just gonna go ahead and add those bell peppers and onions then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some seasoning then we're gonna add one cube of Maggie chicken flavor bouillon so we could give that thing a kick it can taste right you know we need our seasoning then I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of salt then I'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of garlic powder now we're just mixing everything together so we can marry them you know how that goes they gotta unite so they can whoop now I'm gonna add three quarts of water I know that's a lot of water but yes I told y'all making a lot all right just go ahead and adding my water and then I'm gonna just go ahead and let that thing sit so it can boil while we're waiting on that water to boil we're gonna start working on our seafood so here I got some medium-sized shrimp those shrimp look small as hell that's why I also added the jumbo shrimp cuz I need y'all to be able to see my shrimp yes now I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the shrimp it's already peeled and divine I already did all that so now I'm getting ready to clean it with one lime you guys and with my shrimp I only like to clean my shrimp with lime you're gonna see how I clean my other stuff but I don't like to clean the shrimp like that with the shrimp I'm just using some lime maneuvering that lime all over make sure each shrimp gets some of that lime then I'm gonna go ahead and set it to the side now working on my tilapia I got 1.22 pounds of tilapia which was like four fillets and I'm gonna go ahead Ahead and slice and dice them into medium sized cubes so they can sit perfectly inside of my seafood rice yes and I'm just gonna continue to cut them just like that we want a lot of seafood in our seafood rice this is called seafood rice okay don't tell me a seafood rice and have two pieces of seafood in there I'm gonna be mad so you gotta bring the seafood when you are making the seafood rice all right <laughs> all right so when I'm done cutting them up I went ahead and put them on a bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and clean them I'm using one lime as well to go ahead and clean that tilapia you guys then I'm gonna go ahead and add one fourth cup of distilled white vinegar then I'm gonna add one fourth cup of lemon juice then I'm gonna go ahead and add one fourth cup sour orange juice and then we're gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt and this is just to clean the tilapia to get the sm fishy smell away it is not for flavor it will not stay we're gonna wash this off after we're done maneuvering it all around so they all could get some and le let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes all right then here we're gonna here we have our scallops and um look at those little bit of scallops i got for 12 dollars child Whew. but anyway i just used a half of um lemon to clean a half of lime i mean to clean the scallops and i'm also going to use a half of lemon to clean the scallops then i'm just gonna go ahead and put them to the side i have two package of imitation crab meat and then i'm also going to add claw and lump crab meat and here's all my seafood yes we gonna seafood it up this is seafood rice now then this is the rice i'm gonna be using yellow rice spanish style use that brand okay i tried it one time with another brand it just wasn't the same so I added the whole can whatever jar and I added three more cups from the second jar that I had you need two jars and then I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that all together so that flavor could get into that water all right now I'm gonna show you guys a spoon trick you see how I put that spoon in the pot and it just sits there by itself and it's not moving or falling that means the amount of water I have satisfies the amount of rice I have and I will not have mushy or pasty rice so if you usually make 
pasty or mushy rice this is a great great method to try okay so i'm gonna go ahead now and start cleaning off the seafood that i already had clean i'm just rinsing them out of the um the the sanitizing mixture i made for them and i'm just going ahead and squeezing them um so i can remove the excess water okay i'm just rinsing them off like that and then i'm just squeezing them so i can um take out the excess water now my rice is almost done and what I'm going to do is just maneuver it around and I'm going to go ahead and add some butter. I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. Yes. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of black pepper, you guys. And when you're mixing your rice, make sure you're mixing it all the way at the bottom and not just the top. You got to be putting that spoon scraping the bottom literally like scraping the bottom too all right just not not just the top of the rice you see you see this rice is looking gorgeous already yes then i'm gonna go ahead and add some parsley i usually add parsley and thyme but i was all out of thyme so i only put parsley but i would recommend parsley and thyme tied up together and put it in there you guys now this rice is almost done you see how it still has some water in it that's how we want it to be don't let it dry up when it has a little bit of water like that turn down the heat from medium heat to low heat put it at a three or a two cover it with aluminum foil and cover it with the top let it sit for 45 minutes that rice gonna be perfect all right now back to our tilapia we're gonna go ahead and season it with two tablespoons of a piece and i'm adding a half a cube of maggie chicken flavor bouillon then i'm adding some parsley just let the lord lead you on the parsley all right and then we're gonna mix that all together and we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil we're gonna add about one teaspoon of olive oil into there then we're gonna mix it all together and make them marry each other then just go ahead and set that on the side we're moving on to the scallops we're gonna add about one teaspoon of olive oil we're gonna go ahead and add some parsley let the lord leave you just put that parsley until you hear your ancestors says that's enough now we're gonna go ahead and add some obey i added one fourth teaspoon of obey then i'm gonna go ahead and add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper set that to the side now moving on to the shrimp i went ahead and put it a half of um teaspoon of olive oil i'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of garlic powder add some parsley let the lord lead you all right the parsley can't go wrong with letting the lord lead you then we're going to add about one teaspoon of garlic powder and we're going to add one teaspoon of old bay seasoning just mix that all together and let, let, let it let it let it go now i went ahead and put a pot on the stove let it get hot and i added a half a stick of butter let that butter melt then we're going to start off by adding our tilapia yes all right then i'm gonna go ahead and let that tilapia start to cook a little bit mix it around and then i'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp yes 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 all right we're gonna go ahead and add the shrimp and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it around marry them or whatever you know <laughs> make them combine yes then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start to add our other seafood i went ahead and added um the other half stick of the butter i like adding them at a separate time i feel like it's, it tastes it make it taste different that's it's in my mind but it's whatever okay you do it how you want to i went ahead and added my crab meat you see that whoo yes 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 i told you this is about to be some seafood rice with a lot of seafood went ahead and added my imitation crab meat I love me some imitation crab meat. Say what you want about it, sis. Say what you want about it, but I love it, all right? Went ahead and mixed everything together so they could become one as a unit. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a, a half a stick of butter. So in total, I added one stick and a half, all right? Then after that, we're just going to go ahead and mix everything together. Then I'm going to get some it piece, two tablespoons of it piece, and one fourth cup of water and put it into there so it could give it some good flavor. I'm going to add a half of cube of chicken flavor bouillon maggie i've been calling it maggie my whole life maggie is the name of the brand y'all <laughs> and then um, i'm gonna go ahead and cut up some peppers and onions and put it in there i have the exact recipe for you in the description box you guys so if i miss a a, a portion it's in the description box and look at that we have tilapia we have lump crab meat we have claw crab meat we have imitation crab meat 
we have large shrimp we have medium-sized shrimp yes baby yes we about to seafood it up yes all right look at that and he all right it's done it's been 45 minutes we're gonna go ahead and remove the top and let's see how the rice turned out yes yes this rice is beautiful it is cooked it is cooked to the whoo, to the to, to the best it could be okay ain't ain't no better than this you know ain't no better than this you guys this rice is perfecto okay i gotta get my spanish on perfecto yes all right then we're gonna go ahead and sear them scallops on a cast iron if you don't have a cast iron use a frying pan all right we're just gonna sear them try to not overcook your scallop you guys because if you do they're not gonna be good and they're so expensive we don't want to throw away our money all right um i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil while cooking them just so they can sizzle you know they could get some color and sizzle when they're done cooking i'm just gonna go ahead and add them to the pot of the seafood the one that we just made it's already done now i'm removing my rice from my pot to a separate container and i'm gonna go ahead and pour that sea food over it i like to make them separate because a lot of times i feel like when people make it together they end up overcooking the seafood um with the rice and it just ain't right so i like to make mine separate yes 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 look at that who let me just give this thing a moment of silence yes Yes, you guys, look at all that seafood. Tell me that's not like seafood heaven to a seafood lover. Tell me that's not. Because it really is. It really is. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and mix that seafood into the rice and combine it so it could become the seafood rice. Become married and become one, you guys. Yes, you guys. This is just so delicious the rice is gonna be so moist it's already moist by itself and then from the juices we added from that seafood oh jesus can't get no better than that i'm trying to tell you yes and then i like you see how so much seafood like how that song go every step i take every move i make everywhere you turn every corner you look you see some seafood <laughs> yes it's like everywhere you go in this rice you're gonna find some seafood every bite you take you're gonna take a bite of some seafood either the crab the shrimp the sloppy or some something you know and this is just how this is this is just how it should be done you guys don't say you making seafood rice and be stingy with the seafood you know who you guys oh lord i can't even speak this is one of my favorite recipes you guys you cannot go wrong with this um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please do me a favor like comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos